I'm Camden Kuykendall. This is your uh... Mazda RX-8 2005. I traded it with a guy uh, who's down in Warden. Traded my old Mazda 3 for it. Um, this one has 105,000 miles on it, and it's a uh, six-speed manual. Nice, nice. So why did you pick an RX-8? Uh, well, I wasn't really planning on it. I was hoping more for a Miata so I could kind of engine swap and boost it and have a really small car and a lot of power. But this one was super clean and uh, in pretty good condition, and so I decided to get it because the guy offered me $1,500 on top of the trade, and so Damn. couldn't say no. No, definitely not. So how do you feel about rotaries, though? I love them. Uh, I would never swap anything that is not a rotary into this car. Respect, respect. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, because the whole the RX part of the RX-8 stands for Rotary Experiment, and if you have something that's not a rotary inside of an RX car, that defeats the whole purpose of the RX-8 or the RX-7. Um, well, kind of performance-wise, I have a straight pipe cat back, uh, a mid pipe with a cat delete, which is kind of crucial for the engine because with the catalytic converter, it'll dump fuel. Uh, rotaries are known for dumping fuel into the exhaust, and it destroys the cat, clogs it up, and then uh, that's how premature engine wear happens. So deleted the cat, have a lightweight flywheel, um, I have it tuned. I kind of mess around with tuning myself, and I've done that. Uh, it's lowered on coilovers, probably about an inch or two a drop uh, on front and back. I've messed around with, a, with a, an AK tune that I've made myself, and it's probably not the healthiest. Well, not probably. It isn't the healthiest <laughs> for the engine, but it's, it sounds pretty nice. I took it to the sand dunes and got stuck. There was uh, quite a lot of traction loss going on. I'll just say that. Yeah. So one night, uh, it was about 2 a.m., I decided to go and record my car and see you know, how big of flames I was getting. So I ended up going to a warehouse about two miles out of town which had recently been robbed, and the authorities would patrol this warehouse. And so I just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. I, end, I did see, actually, when I pulled into the warehouse, I did see a car with its lights off, and it pulled around the corner, and I just thought it was you know, some kids making out in the middle of the night by a warehouse. So I thought nothing <laughs> of it. So five minutes later, you know, I got some recording, and uh, I was getting back in my car, and three spotlights just spotted right on my car. And this is 2 a.m., you know, March, April, beginning of the whole quarantine, yeah. and uh, they they pulled me out of my car. They like put your hands on the steering wheel, step out of your car, um, hands behind your neck. Do you have anything on you? Uh, they thought that my tire pressure gauge was a radio, and so then they thought that I had friends who were. They thought that I was the one robbing the warehouse, essentially, <laughs> and so they sent the other two officers out to go look for my friends, which there were none. Um, and then I was searched. I consented to, you know, any sort of test or anything. He asked me how high I was. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you know me or not, but I don't smoke. Um, <laughs> so I said, officer, I don't smoke. And he asked me why my eyes were glazed. And I said, officer, it's two o'clock in the morning. I just got home from work or I got, got off of work and, uh, I'm a little tired and that's why my eyes are glazed over. <laughs> and so he reported my... ID to the dispatch or whatever they saw. I had nothing on my record and he just told me to go home.
What shocks do you have on this thing? Uh, T and Flexies. Oh, oh. They're, uh, they're, this, this road is the funnest uh, going with them because it's the bumpiest road. Feel every, every bump, feel oh, the yeah. pebbles. guys this was kind of experimental well uh don't really know how this is going to go yet but uh or how it ended on the edit but uh that's it for now so uh we'll pop up his socials you can say it follow yeah. me on uh, daily rotary and uh, it's kind of my quest it, through instagram and tiktok of daily driving a rotary vehicle and how it's not as bad as everybody makes it out to be i didn't know it was bad oh there's there's lots of <laughs> lots of hate for rotaries on the internet so uh yeah follow us on instagram whatever if follow I'm, him do all the things follow click the things that you're supposed to click click the and, dislike button first then the like button yes do that and then uh that's it thanks for watching peace peace